emulator is a pro-channel module available for every track and bus. It is used to emulate the coloration added to audio when mixing through an analog mixing console. This isn't an obvious processor such as EQ or compression, but a very subtle emulation of the non-linear distortion and noise of an audio signal passing through electronic circuits. In the analog world, different consoles have different effects, and the console emulator has three modes, each one emulating different famous classic mixing consoles. Depending on the console and settings, the benefits may include warmth and aggression, a wider sound, more cohesion, improved depth, and definition. There are two versions included, one designed for use on tracks, the other buses. The controls are identical except the bus version does not have a trim control. Along the title bar and common to all Pro Channel modules are the clipping light, the on-off button, and the collapse icon. Just beneath the title bar are the mode buttons used to change the emulation mode. S-Type emulates a famous British console widely used by pop and rock mixing engineers. It has a clean, transparent timber. N-Type is an emulation of another British console with a warm, rich low end. A-Type emulates a very rare British console considered by some to be the best sounding console of all. It has brighter highs and less lows than the N-Type. The output meters, one each for left and right channels, are calibrated to respond just like real VU meters and allow proper gain staging of levels. They can be switched from peak to RMS levels using the switch between the two. The trim control adjusts the input level with up to 6 decibels of cut or boost. The drive control emulates the saturation created by the summing circuit of the board. On a real board, the fader's drive range is from minus 6 dB to plus 2 dB. This control adds another 4 dB of boost for creative processing. The tolerance control can be used to simulate the slight tolerance variations of the electronic components in a real console. By enabling this switch on some tracks and buses, the emulation will vary slightly to those where it is disabled. The console emulator is subtle and cumulative. It may appear at first to have very little effect. To get the full benefit, it is best added to all tracks and buses across a project with the same mode selected for all. It should be added before the mixing process is started, so you mix through it rather than add it afterwards. The last module in the Pro Channel is an ideal place. The easiest way to add it to multiple tracks and buses is to use quick grouping. Make sure there are no tracks or buses selected, hold down the control key, and insert an instance into one of the tracks, then set the mode as required. Repeat this process on one of the buses.